Another community is in disbelief. Another deadly school shooting. The sight of what's become an all too familiar panic. Oh my God! Survivors turning their grief and anger into a call to action. There is a serious issue in this country that we all need to face. Jake and I decided that we were gonna go to Parkland, Florida. As I'm sure all of you by now have either heard about what happened in Parkland or seen it on the news. And if you haven't heard of what happened in Florida, there was a mass shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. This was one of the world's most deadly school massacres. We decided that we wanted to go and try to make a difference and help to the best of our abilities. We just wanted to get involved, see what we could do out there to help. If we could help, you know, use our voice and our influence as much as we possibly could to the best of our abilities. So on the way to Parkland, my intentions were just, what can I do in this community that can help? Can I help raise money? Can I be an outlet source for these kids to talk to? Can I just be an outside source for parents to talk to? Like, what can I do? I had no idea what I could do or what we could do as a team, but I knew that it would be something if we just got involved. Going to meet with Jonathan and uh, his mom, Melissa, right now. His mom has said that he uh, is just lost and used to be filled with like a ton of joy and now when she looks at him it's it's like just emptiness i uh just want to become homies with them and just be there for him okay. So when we arrived in Parkland, Florida, we met up with Melissa and JB, who are now like family members to us. Melissa is JB's mom and is also a teacher at the middle school. JB is one of the students who was in the classroom where the shooting was. I was lying down and I guess I was just lying flat on the ground and I guess someone just took the video and my feet were in it. At first, I thought it was a drill. Uh, we didn't know what was going on. We, we've been practicing for drills like this just to make sure that we're okay and safe. So at first, I heard a bunch of pops. I thought they were just fake at first, but we, I still took down, went down as fast as possible. As I was going down, I realized that it was real. Bullets went through my door. Uh, two people killed in my classroom and two others were shot and injured and half of the class went to one side of the class and then the other half went to the other side of the class and they were in the line of sight and some people got shot in my class on the other side. So if you can imagine the hurt and the pain and the complete shock that not only JB is in after this, but the entire town. I remember specifically watching JB, we drove past the school, and just seeing the fear in his eyes, just being around what happened, made me realize that there needs to be change. When I found out that there's a shooting at Stoneman, so I was texting JB right away, and I said, are you okay, are you okay? and I didn't have any answer. I didn't hear from my text again, are you okay? And there was no answer. I finally got a text saying, mom, people are being shot in my room, I'm dying. And then that was it. I didn't know if my child was dead or alive. I had no response. After we got done hanging out with Melissa in JB, Melissa told us that there was a memorial and there was tents set up. And for every child who passed away during the shooting, there was a tent. And I remember driving over there and just feeling numb. And to see that many tents lined up with just like memories and flowers and names of kids, innocent kids who never came home from school that day and literally changed me as a person. How strong and how brave these kids are is absolutely incredible, like absolutely incredible. To me, this experience was so much bigger than being a YouTuber. Um, it was humans just connecting to see change. 
and I truly, truly believe after being there, seeing everything firsthand, that we can make a change and we can be strong and everyone can come together to prevent these kind of things from happening. I feel like change in these kind of situations are so necessary. I wanna make sure that I'm using my platform for one thing, a positive impact on situations that don't normally have the chance to be heard. Something that impacted me so much was when I had the opportunity to sit down with the Hill Sisters. So I'm on the second floor bathroom and I hear 10 to 15 shots go off, but I'm thinking it's a movie next door. Like, there's no right. way there's a shooter in my school. Like, Douglas was voted like the safest place. I took two people next to me and we ran to the first, we ran out of the bathroom, we ran to the first classroom we saw and we knocked on the door, but there was no response because everyone was in hiding. Right. So we weren't let in. And then as we were running to the second door across from that room, I looked left and Nick, the shooter, was in the, going into the stairwell. These girls just want their community to come together and love each other and be there for each other and become a powerhouse. They're not letting this stop them. They both are involved in so many things in school. They both are in a business program where they have their own little business set up. They have such bright futures and this horrific experience is not going to get these girls down. If you see something or you hear something or you have a feeling, use your voice. Do not be scared to use your voice and speak up and I'm not saying that everyone's bad or everyone's gonna do this, but if you feel a certain way very strongly and you think that someone's a threat to you or your community, don't be afraid to speak up, tell somebody, and be a part of that prevention if possible. Nobody should ever have to go through what I went through. It was the scariest moment of my life and no person should ever own an automatic machine gun. It's like a weapon of war and it's to kill people. It's not to protect yourself and it just shouldn't be allowed. For me, it's not political. It doesn't matter what side you're on at all. Uh, I think everyone should come to agree that you can. this just can't be happening. It's everyone's kids, no matter if you're a Republican or a Democrat, it's everybody. It just should be about the kids. Like, it shouldn't even be about political parties. They in no way want this to be a political debate. Like, these kids just want change, and they want to see change, and they want their community to protect them, and they want the government as a whole, no matter who it is, to just help prevent this from ever happening again. Parkland is not going to let itself be defined by this incident. How we're going to be defined and how you guys are going to be defined in your generation is by the response. Being a part of this experience and taking this break has genuinely just taught me that I have a platform that can be used for good, that can be used for change, that can be used to create an impact. And that to me is so powerful because on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm a vlogger, you guys know what I do. I never thought that I would be able to be so involved and be so vocal on a topic that is so important. And I'm so thankful and I'm so humbled to be a part of this process. And I really want to continue to use my platform to create change and to be a voice and to be a positive influence. And I want everyone to know that I am willing to help in any way that I can. And with all of that being said, I want to tell you guys that every single penny of AdSense from this video is going to be split 50-50 between two organizations that Melissa fully believes in. The first one is the Brower Education Fund. And what this fund does is it splits the money between people who lost their lives, the people who were injured, and then the people who were in need. So that's a really, really amazing organization. And the second one is the Stoneman Douglas Principal Discretionary Fund. And what this fund does is basically it helps the whole school, but the proceeds for this particular video are gonna to go towards safety. So that's gonna be whether they have better protected windows or stronger doors or more police officers or more security, all the money is just going into the safety part of that fund. Melissa also informed me that there are 17 separate websites that you can visit for those who have passed away. 
and you can donate individually to those families as well. And I'm gonna have all that information linked below in the description. Anything helps. These families in this community has been through so much and it's not over and it's not gonna be over for a very long time. And anything you can do to help will help. Also guys, the majority of our experience is on Jake's platform. He obviously has a much bigger platform than I do and we wanted to get the message out to as many people as we could. The video he did is, I'm like, I don't even have words, it's amazing. It's really, really important that we all come together as a community and use our voice for change and I will say that a hundred more times if I have to. As for my vlogs go, um, honestly, I'm not sure when I'm going to be back. I have opened my eyes in so many ways and learned so much, and I'm continuing to try everything I can do to help for this experience and from this experience. So thank you so much for being understanding of my break. I will see you when I see you, and I love you.